This is a review of functions. This is a review of functions. And we start out with a relation. A function is a relationship. It's a relationship between x and y, a domain and a range. A relation is just a set of ordered pairs. It could be anything. And it doesn't have any stipulations at all, except it's just an ordered pair, x comma y. You could call it a comma b. We normally do x and y because that's how we graph it on an x and y axis. Examples would be, and I put this in set notation, uh, 1 comma 2, 3 comma 5, negative 1 comma 1. There are several ways of expressing a uh, relation. I could do it as a set, and this is an example as a set. I can do it as a map, and a map kind of reminds you of a multiple choice question. And it says, I'm looking at uh, 1, and 1 is related to 2. 3 is related to 5. And negative 1 is related to 1. That would be what a map is. So I have my x's on my left and my y's on my right. And if I wanted to write them as coordinate points, I would say 1, 2, 3, 5, negative 1, 1. The third way of expressing this would be on an xy coordinate plane graph. So that says if x equals 1, y equals 2. If x equals 3, y equals 5. And if x equals negative 1, y equals 1. It's a picture of what's going on. If I were to look at this picture, one of the things I could say about it is, as x gets bigger, what does y do? As x gets bigger, what does y do? If y gets bigger. It's a picture of the relationship between x and y. It says x is bigger, y gets bigger, from what we can see. Okay? And that's why graphs, as much as I'm not sure now you coming through the, o, the, uh, the 092, the modules, whether you hate graphs as much as you used to hate graphs, uh, but my 120s have always hated doing graphs. Graphs are awful. But yet it gives you a really good picture of what's going on. And as human beings, we tend to be very visual people. This doesn't tell me anything about the relationship between X and Y, except who is related to who. This listing doesn't tell me anything about the relationship between X and Y. Yet when I look at a graph, we can say, oh, as X gets bigger, Y is getting bigger. But I don't get that from these two entities. The picture ends up being extremely important. The graph. Now, a function is a relation, is a correspondence, and I could say is a relation, is a correspondence from a first set called the domain to a second set called the range such that each element in the domain corresponds to exactly one element in the range. We say a function is 1 to 1, namely 1x one is related to only one y. So if I were to look at, and these are problems uh, in your, from your packet, and, and this is a set, and I don't know whether what it is, but I can then an easy way to do it is to map it out. This is where I might use a map if I have a set. And it says, what do I know? I know 1 is related to 4. I also know that 1 looks like is going to be related to negative 4. And 2 is related to 8. 
And from the map, I can say this is not a function. because 1x goes to two y's. One goes to four, one also goes to negative four, so it can't be a function, because one x must only go to one y. In this case, if I were to cover up the y values, the map tells me that I have one x and he's going to two places. Yes. Is that the only reason it can't be a function? Yes. The only reason it can't be a function. And I kind of look at it as being, suppose you're what you were is a courier and your job is to deliver packages. And you go into work one day and <coughs> your boss says to you, I have this one package. Okay, well that's good. He's got a job for you to do and that means you get paid. And so it says, I want you to take it to, uh, at the same time, to Mesa Community College and to Scottsdale Community College. What are you going to say to him? Huh? What the heck? Yeah. I can only be in, I'm one person. I have one package. I can only be in one place at one time. I can't clone myself and I can't clone the package. You want me to deliver this package to two different places at the same time. This is not going to work. A function means you're going to take one package and deliver it to one place. It is one to one. So it's got a one to one matchup. So in this case, I've got one package and I'm going to have to try to deliver it to two places. Ain't going to happen. Not a function. That would also mean that if I'm looking at a set, this means I have repeated x's. I have repeated x's. x appears in the list more than once. So it can't be a function. <coughs> repeated x's. So if I look at this problem, I notice even, I'm going to cover up the y values. Do I have repeated x's? No. no. So it is a function. But then you look at the y. Wait a minute! I only have one y value. Well, it really doesn't matter. If I look at the map of this guy, I'm going to have negative 4 is going to go to 5. I'm going to have negative 3, it's also going to go to 5. I'm going to have negative 2, it's also going to go to 5. I'm going to have negative 1, um, it's also going to go to 5. That says I've got four different couriers. They're going to deliver a package to the same place. It may be inefficient, right, to send four people but these are different packages. So can four people deliver four packages to the same place? Yeah. They are different people, different packages. Just inefficient. 